we're all teachers of the year at Jackson. We all help each other. Any teacher from any grade can come to another teacher and we help each other, we share materials. Teaching can be hard at times, so when we help each other and we try our best to help a child, uh, it makes it more rewarding. So every teacher at Jackson should be Teacher of the Year. I've always wanted to be a teacher. In fact, when I was younger, um, I used to make my younger sibling play school with me. My philosophy of teaching is to create an environment where children are lifelong learners and music appreciators. The lifelong learning doesn't just apply to music, it applies to creating challenges, overcoming challenges, having a hunger for discovery, and pushing their brains to do things that they never thought possible. One summer, I was inspired when I was volunteering with the Life Skills Program at my home district, and that summer was life-changing. It made me realize what I wanted to do for the rest of my life, to continue to advocate and provide assistance and support for students with special needs. My second grade teacher was a big inspiration for me. Um, she was a lot of a, a, a huge emotional and academic support for me in that time. I remember writing um, in my third grade journal I found uh, a few years back that I wanted to be a teacher, right? So I had kind of already set my mind to, to becoming a teacher one day. And as I grew older, um, I became involved in my church. I was a Sunday school teacher and I realized that I really loved working with kids. And so now here I am, you know, uh, serving our community. The most important thing is to be able to build a relationship with students because I've noticed that the more that you're able to talk to them or the more they can relate to you, that's when they start working harder. That's when they're like, okay, I'm not doing just this because of grade, I'm doing this because as a class or as a teacher, like I want to feel proud of myself and I want my teacher to feel proud of me as well. I, I grew up here all my life. I went to Rayburn Elementary, I went to Morris Middle School, and then I went to McAllen High School. So knowing that my students are now a reflection of that, I can see their potential every day that I walk into the classroom. And I can see where, even after leaving for college, knowing that you have that goal in mind, when I left, I knew that I wanted to come back. My teaching philosophy is to provide students with the opportunities to be successful in my classroom. My goal is to help them become inquirers so that they so that they find the answers to their own questions and they can become curious of the world around them. Working for McAllen ISD means a lot to me. I'm actually a product of McAllen. I graduated from Memorial High School and like my teachers, uh, how they provided me with the tools I needed to be ready for the real world, now I get to do the same for the students of Alvarez Elementary. I decided to become a teacher to make a difference in student lives, not just one life, but many. My philosophy of teaching is to create a safe learning environment. I want students to feel comfortable asking questions, not to be shy, to encourage them to ask, ask questions when they need help. I take, um, I take my job very serious and uh, my philosophy is that every child, no matter what background, no matter where they come from, it doesn't matter who the child is, every child deserves the highest quality of education that they can possibly get and it is the responsibility of the teacher to ensure that that, it, it, that form of education is offered to that child. I believe that they all should be held to high standards regardless of their background, regardless of what they've done in the past, what you've heard about them in the past. It doesn't matter, once they step foot in my classroom, I know that every child that's in here will receive the best quality education that I can possibly give them. Originally, I wanted to be a doctor, but after seeing the shows, I realized that it was not for me, seeing the whole bloodshed. So I still wanted to help uh, people, and I had had so many wonderful teachers along the way that inspired me, that showed me compassion, that believed in me. So I wanted to go back and I wanted to instill that in our community, in our kids. Being in the classroom, being with the students, it is really a dream come true. I became a teacher because I enjoy teaching children. The joy that comes from watching a child learn and grow is just so rewarding. And knowing the fact that I could help build a child up is just so amazing, like using words that could even possibly change their future. Um, as one teacher did mine is just incredible and just a privilege. What I think is that everybody needs a chance. So when we do our lessons in the gym, we try to get every kid to try. Okay, I'm not looking for the best athlete. I'm not looking for the one who can make all the shots or hit the ball all the time. Just effort, you know, give me participation, you're gonna be okay. 
try, you're gonna be all right. My philosophy of teaching is based on relationships. I feel that any child will work for you as long as there's love and trust for their teacher. Praising students on a job well done and showing that you, that you believe in them makes all the difference in the world. My philosophy in teaching is to be able to inspire students to make allow them to grow every day and come to school wanting to learn. I want them to be able to feel comfortable and welcomed in a caring and loving environment so they can grow and learn as much as they can and take it home and apply all their learning outside in the real world. My passion for teaching started since I was a little girl because both my parents were teachers, educators in Mexican rural communities and through them I could see firsthand how influential the words and actions of good teachers could be. And that's when I knew I wanted to do the same and become a teacher. My philosophy of teaching is to instill in my students a long-lasting love of learning and to engage them with fun activities and constant motivation. Since I was a little girl, my mom taught here in McAllen. As a toddler, I would try out all of her lessons beforehand. Watching my mom teach here really brought me into teaching. My philosophy of teaching is that um, everybody can learn and as long as you adapt everything for that student to learn they're going to be successful and they're going to be productive in the community. My philosophy of teaching is I know that teachers can make a world of a difference. We can uh, inspire the children, they could become risk takers, problem solvers and eventually be creative thinkers and they'll be able to um, take their own learning into their hands. What made me decide to become a teacher was I was a real mom in Corpus Christi for all of my children and everybody would always tell me, you're always here. And I just loved being around the students, the children helping. And so they kind of motivated me and told me, you should go to school to be a teacher. And I sure did. I knew that I always wanted to be. We played as little children. <laughs> I was always a teacher. And um, I decided to go to school. My last one started uh, kindergarten. So it goes back to when I was uh, in high school. My English for teacher was so inspiring that after her class, I decided that I wanted to pursue a degree in literature. My philosophy of teaching is that every student has the potential to learn. And that's when we as educators step in and we motivate them and encourage them to continue their education and encourage them to never give up. I decided to become a teacher because of my aunt, Arminda Ramirez. Back as I was a little girl, maybe second grade, I would go and help her every single summer, and I would decorate her classroom with bulletin boards, and at that moment, I realized that that's what I wanted to be. I wanted to be a teacher, and I never looked back, and I never ever regret being a, you know, a professional. I love what I do. I love my students. I love what, you know, their success and everything. So to me, being a teacher has been a true blessing in my life. I think teaching is a calling. People do it because they love it, because it involves a lot of people, communication. It actually takes a village to build a child. I feel like we need to educate the future educators. So I love mentoring student teachers and young band directors. I was inspired to be a teacher once I went to college and took some sign language classes. I really wanted to work with the deaf community and McAllen ISD has a regional day, day school program for the deaf here. So I was able to do that by working here. It gave me the ability to advocate for the students here and be able to, just to teach them. One of my favorite quotes that I like to send out with all my emails and that I like to use a lot in my classroom is by Aristotle. And it's, when it comes to children, educating the mind without educating the heart is no education at all. And I truly, truly believe that. I feel like if you can't genuinely give children your heart and show them that you genuinely want to help them and care about them, then they won't open themselves up to you. A lot of teachers say the same thing, but there are so many just amazing teachers here that will go above and beyond for the school and for the kids. Knowing that I was nominated amongst other teachers like that, that you know, kind of have this like shared vision and goal for our campus, it was just a huge honor. And I'm just, I, I respect those teachers so much and, and I feel grateful and I feel proud that I get to work side by side with those teachers. My teaching philosophy is one of inclusion for all students. Whether it be the student who is quiet sitting in the back of the class, to the student who is loud and rowdy and jumping at pep rallies, to a student who is a self-contained special ed student. I believe that all students and all kids have special unique abilities and characteristics that can make our community special. My philosophy is to be kind 
and to help everyone. Give expecting nothing thereof. And the best compliment that I received after I was named Teacher of the Year was from a parent and said that she enjoyed every day that I was on morning duty because I would greet her son with a smile because smiles are contagious and I'm trying to do my part to spread it around. I think students need structure and routine and once kids feel that consistency you know there are no surprises especially when it comes to math because many students suffer from math anxiety so it's my job to try to reduce that and I reduce that by consistency by routine by being structured by being organized and that helps a long way. My mom is an educator and uh, I always feel like education kind of landed on my lap. I look back and I think of all the different people that have influenced me up until this point and I feel like they played a role into how I do things in the classroom. There's really not a pinpoint where I decided like yes this is what I want to become a teacher. It was more of everyone who has played that role in my life has really led me to this point here.